Hello again, Cons here, and today I'm going to be talking you through a Wyvern Snipe Clutch Claw Attack meme build. I was going to do three of these in one go, but work has been kind of hectic lately, and so I haven't really had a chance to finish the other two builds. As you can see, I've got the main one here, and then the two beneath it, but they're not finished yet, so I won't spoil them just yet. But I'll let you know that one of them uses KO, and one of them uses Sleep, so keep an eye out if those both sound interesting to you. But uh, for now, let's look at the skills and the decorations so we have five points of attack boost for raw crit boost for obvious reasons so this kind of follows on from the testing i did in the previous video uh if you haven't seen that feel free to check it out but we found that special ammo boost does not stack does not increase the damage of this attack the wyvern snipe claw attack so we're not running it uh, we found that it was a draw attack so we're running critical draw peak performance for fairly obvious reasons uh, quick sheath and tool specialist are nice. I mean, you kind of get where these skills are all coming from. We're using the Diablos HBG with non-elemental boost. You could use Shara's HBG instead. And in fact, one of my Wyvern Snipe builds tomorrow is going to be using it. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll save that. Or maybe not tomorrow, but I'll save that for whenever it comes out. The decorations are a little bit tough. Attack plus you might not have. You can always just drop one point of recovery up and, and, what, and two points of tool maintenance. Those aren't a big deal. Uh, worst case scenario, you can always just drop maintenance uh, for another point of attack, but it's it's really up to you. There is an interesting little bit of maths here that I thought I'd quickly go through, and that is the augment. I had two options here. I could either have augmented two affinity, one health regen, or one he health regen, two affinity, because those both take up seven slots in total. Now, if you remember, we did maths on health augment stacking uh, a while back, and again, I'll link that video if you haven't seen it already, but we found that having two augments of health regen and one point of recovery up gave us roughly 10 percent lifesteal whereas one point of health regen and one point and two points of recovery up gave us roughly nine percent health regen so by running two health regen and swapping out one of our recovery up decorations for a point of critical eye to make up for the five affinity we actually gain a sort of 11 or 12 percent increase on our health regen so it's just an interesting bit of mass there for you you can always swap out some tool specialists for attack boost but i really like the mantles on this set Evasion and Rocksteady. Rocksteady just lets you spam, and Evasion is nice for some pretty crazy damage numbers. But yeah, I'll, I'll get straight into the gameplay. So I forgot to mention it, but it's Frostcraft, obviously. The nice thing about Frostcraft is as you claw the monster, your weapon automatically unsheathes, which lets Frostcraft recharge really quickly. The moment I claw onto it, my bar is basically full, and so you don't have to worry too much about it. But anyway, the idea is you just take every opening you can, and you use the claw attack. It does somewhere in the region of, like... 600 to a thousand damage a piece depending on things like evasion mantle and whether it's enraged or not and the monsters hit zones but like look here a stagger and then another free huge chunk of damage what's that nearly 916 1076 these numbers are huge that's just a free 1000 damage and then a stagger and that's another free 1000 damage for doing literally nothing Look at that, that's just 2,000 damage for literally zero effort at all. Of course, the evasion mantle doesn't proc on the charge because the hitboxes are busted, but anyway. And yeah, it seems this this isn't in entirely safe, but the thing is you can afford to be a bit risky because the amount of health still you have is insane. And look, another 1,000 damage into a stagger, which gives us another free 1,000 damage. Well, slightly less because the evasion mantle wore off. But now that evasion mantle's gone, we can put on rock steady, and now we can just play completely brain dead. Look at this. <laughs> We're about to lose. We've lost like 30 or 40 percent of our health. Who cares? Who cares? We've got because of the mass that we didn't, of course, a little bit of core jank. But because of the mass we did, you know, we can see that we're getting a really good amount of health steal, somewhere in the region of 10 percent of damage dealt. If we're doing like 700 damage a piece, that's 70 health. Uh, that's more than a mega potion. Look at that, 880 damage. And more claw jank, of course. Wouldn't be a Monster Hunter World video without claw jank. And I'll quickly show you, to anybody who made it to the end, how to abuse this for sleep. I'm just refreshing my items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to not interrupt the monster's sleep. I'm going to wait for it to start the sleep animation. I'm going to claw onto it before it actually falls asleep. So I don't enter, so I don't wake it up with a little bit of claw damage. And now I'm free to spend as much time as I like getting to the head so long as I have enough stamina. And, ooh, the wake up hit for 1500 damage. That's a max potion worth of health right there, in case that bears mentioning. But yeah, it's absolutely crazy. 
And then you just take, again, every opportunity you can to land a claw attack. Whenever it flies into the air, that's a free claw attack. It'll vary from monster to monster, matchup to matchup. You've got to sort of learn the claw openings for your fight. I'm going to abuse the sleep a bit more in my in my video coming up on, on the Shara uh, sleep spam strategy. Uh, anyway, I think I'll leave it here on some claw jank. Yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Have a lovely day.